Hello guys and welcome to the second episode. In this episode, we will design a simple basic UI interface for our application. So I am using this window Visual Studio as I am in the Windows operating system. So let's start. Click on the file menu to create a new project. I will be working on this Visual C Sharp. So click on this. Click on the Windows Form application and name the project like Tutorial 2. So this is our form. Everything which we need in our UI interface like buttons or text box. We will put all the buttons and text box into this form. So let's start and take a group box. Click on the properties to change its properties like text. So let's say we'll write a name to it port settings. Now take a combo box and place it here. So this combo box will contain the available COM ports in our system. And let's say take a label. Place it over here. Click on the properties to change the properties of the label and uh, name it as like port. So all the ports available will be listed here in the combo box. Let's test it. So right now I have no COM ports connected to my system, but if I'll connect an Arduino so the COM port will be listed here. In the same way, we'll design, we'll take another combo box for our baud rate. This combo box will be for our baud rate. I'll take a label and change its property, change its name to baud rate. Now go to the properties of combo box. You will find an items option, click it. Basically, this will contain all the borders which you want, like 4800 or 9600 or let's say 115200. Click on OK. Okay, now let's test it. So, we'll select a port from here, and all the border rates will be selected from this. So, now let's take a button. So this is our button. This button will be the open COM port button. By clicking on this button, our communication channel will be open. Now let's go into the properties and change its name. Let's say open. And change its color to like uh, somewhat green color. Let's say yellow green. That's right. Now let's take another button. This button will be responsible for closing our channel. So I'll go into its property, close, and change its color to let's say gray color. Okay. So Let's test it. It's looking great. Here, all the ports will be selected. Port rate will be selected. Then, our channel, communication channel, will be open, and this will be closed. So now, as we have connected three LEDs to our Arduino Mega, so we'll require three buttons which will control the status of the LED. So for this, first I'll take a group box and place it here. Now go into the properties and change its name like uh, LEDs and place few buttons over it.
this button will control our first LED, so LED 1 and change its color to let's say some grey color dim grey. So this grey color indicates that the current status of this button is off, so LED is off and if you click on this button its color will change into some grey color, sorry green color, so this part will we will do it in programming part. So in the same way take an another button and name it LED2 change its color to grey third button So we have placed three buttons. Let's test it. Yes, it's looking great. These are the three buttons which will control the three LEDs. Now we need to put up a text box here. So for this first I'll take a group box. And change its name to let's say locks and I'll take a text box from the text box we want it to be multi-line so multi-line and this is our text box so whenever someone presses this LED one the text will appear here like LED1 is on or LED1 is off. So our designing part is complete. Let's do some small changes. Let's name our form to like uh, control LEDs and let's change its color to let's say So our designing part is complete. Let's test it. So all the ports will be listed here. Our border will be listed here. We'll click on this open button to open our communication channel. Then we'll click on this LEDs to control our LEDs and then this close button to close our channel. So this was about the designing simple basic GUI for your embedded application. In the next episode we will write a code for this and complete our tutorial series. So thank you for watching this video. Please like, share, subscribe. Thank you.